So, here are the top three things I took away from this conference. Number one, Bill Bernstein is actually a self-admitted market timer. <laughs> Number two, my beloved Vanguard Total Market Index Fund is actually actively managed. <laughs> but number three, and this came from Alan Roth, a risky and unhealthy lifestyle is good for your retirement plan <laughs> because it lowers your life expectancy. Okay, now. Jim and Katie Dolly, we just want to thank you for your efforts here. You all already got a shout out, but we are so grateful from this conference. We, we could not have done it without you. Katie, especially behind the scenes, you were just such a gift to us. So thank you for that. We appreciate it. And, and Jim, of course, is a speaker and uh, creating the curriculum for our university day. I want to thank our video guys. We have um, committed to videotaping all of these conferences that, so that people who can't afford to attend can still view the sessions. So um, the team from Little Cabin has been here videotaping, and they've also been doing some nice testimonials with some of you where you've been talking about what you've gained from the conference and what you've gained from Bogleheads. We intend to use those to uh, promote future conferences. So thank you to our video team. We really, really appreciate it. I also wanted to thank Jim and Connor from Spark Network who have helped us put on this conference. So are they, I hope they're here. Um, there he there's Jim, Connor in the back. Um, to the extent that this conference feels at all polished or professional, all these guys, they have uh, meant everything in terms of our registration, just in terms of making everything go it's as smoothly as it can go. And we are just so grateful for their contributions to Bogleheads. So thank you, Jim and Connor. Um, I also wanted to mention a program that's been happening at this conference a little bit behind the scenes, which is that we decided to try to offer scholarships this year to folks who would not be otherwise able to attend the conference. And so this is um, something that we have been uh, using our own coffers to cover these registrations for people. Rick was very helpful for me in terms of winnowing down the number of worthy um, worthy requests to the people who we wanted to um, have here because they truly did have a financial need. So we will keep this scholarship program going. The idea is to make this conference available to people who otherwise uh, might find it unaffordable. We also have a student program. Yes, and uh, one thing I would say is that we also had some people cancel who were ill or had some reason they couldn't make the conference. Some of them generously donated their registration to cover some of these scholars. So we are so grateful. They're, they're not here, obviously, but we're very grateful for people who choose to do that. So bear that in mind if you attend a conference in the future and can't, um, can't make it in the end. We are also going to continue to invite students to be part of this conference. That'll be something that we will work on um, in future conferences. We do have, I think, a couple of financial planning students in attendance, but we're going to continue to drive that effort to bring students here. Finally, we want to thank our wonderful volunteers who we could not have this conference um, without. So please join me in thanking all of the people who volunteered their time. Okay. I have a couple more too. Speakers, um, every speaker here was not, no speaker was paid for his or her time. It's on a weekend. We had great speakers, a fabulous lineup, and these are all people who gener generously volunteered their time. And 
And last but not least, all of you, our biggest Bogleheads conference ever. Uh, you make it what it is. Okay. There is one person who needs to be thanked for the reason why all of you are here. And she is standing right next to me. Christine, thank you. Christine has been the chairman of this conference. She has a full-time job at Morningstar. She is the president of the John C. Bogle Center for the Financial Literacy. And she actually has some sort of a life as well, I think. Do you not? Great job, Christine. Thank you so much, Rick, and thanks to all of you. I, it, it's been a super fun effort. It's a nice kind of, my husband calls it my unpaid part-time job. So it's been, it's been fun. Um, now we're, we're going to announce the uh, 2024 conference site. We are so excited to announce, go ahead, cue it, Minneapolis, Twin, Twin Cities. So... The local chapter in the Twin Cities has expressed an interest, a lot of interest, in being the host city, and we are so excited to work with them on uh, planning next year's conference, and we think we'll have, it, have an even greater conference than we've had this year. Thank you all. That's it. Thank you. Be safe going home. <laughs>